Hi, you're with Carmen Williams. I'm on the online prosperity show. And what we're going to talking about is finding out what your passion is, living it and feeling the fear and doing it anyway. So if you're super busy, um, we're going to talk about how you can actually take strategic action to reach your goals. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the strategic action consultant herself, Carmen. Carmen, how are you doing today? I'm fantastic. Thanks so much for having me. Fantastic. Now, obviously, if you're watching this show right now, you would appreciate that every single time we're always bringing in experts in their own space, um, people that know a thing or two about helping you be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So today we've uh, dragged in Carmen here, who is um, launching a new consultancy for strategic action consulting, but she's been working, um, you know, um, and owning and directing a company called Grand Plan Coaching, where they use powerful um, combination of coaching mindset strategies to just support you to turn your grand plan into uh, reality. Now, Carmen, tell us a little bit about what it is that you do and what are you going to be, um, you know, changing your business to become? Yeah. So I might start from the start, tell you a little bit about me and my journey. So I started life as a nerdy scientist working in the lab um, with my test tubes all by myself and got a little bit lonely. And I decided that actually I like talking to people. And so I went and did the scariest thing I could at that time and got myself a job in the real world. So I, I landed a job in the healthcare sector. Um, and when I applied for the job, I didn't understand it. When they gave me the job, I didn't understand it. Um, uh, like I didn't even know what an agenda for a meeting was. Like I just thought it was like a hidden agenda, which it sort of is. But anyway, so I was coming from a really low base. And so a vertical learning curve began. I was working in a team that was implementing an enterprise-wide project. And then the project manager disappeared um, under mysterious circumstances. And I filled that gap. And I Im implemented an enterprise-wide project um, across a huge hospital network. And what I learned that I was actually really good at getting things done. And so I found that I was a person um, that people would come and tap well like as a project was finishing up so they'll tap me on the shoulder and say come come play over here and then i'd implement that project and i found out they were like you could get things done but there were two ways to get things done you could be like authoritative and just like you know just th you know thrash it or you can actually engage people get them super excited about it and actually build sustainability so i was in a position um in my workplace where i could look across the organization and see all these projects that are implemented which was pretty cool so then you know i was through that i was informally using coaching and supporting people and you know getting them on board and, and really finding out you know what's driving them and supporting them to be the best they could be. And so then I decided to uh, start a coaching company. And so that's Grand Plan Coaching. And I've been supporting business owners to, uh, to really be the best they could be, understand themselves, um, understand what they want to do and why they want to do it. And then once they do that, they can actually start to take really, really powerful action. But more recently, I've realized that I was running a um, consultancy firm. I was doing some consultancy work for organizations and a coaching firm at the same time. And I'm like, actually, there's, there's a synergy here. I'm, all I'm really about supporting people to take strategic action. So strategic action is powerful action. It's considered action, but not too considered because we want, you know, action to happen at the same time. And it's action that is, you know, going to be sustainable both for your energies and get the people around you excited and motivated so that they can, you know, make that change with you. And so that's why I've launched strategic action consultancy. Understandable. That's a very winding, um, you know, <laughs> background coming in from uh, a yeah. scientist and now you're, you know, leading teams and helping people to gain insight, energy and focus. Well, thank you so much for relaying that sort of story to us. So you would have learned quite a lot in a very short space of time um, coming mm. in from somebody who was very introverted as a, um, a lab uh, scientist into the real world. 
Um, what sort of changes did you have to adapt to um, at that particular time, you know, for you to actually fit in to mm. deal with people? Because at the end of the day, that's where business really should lie in dealing with people. Mm. So coming in from, you know, that introverted space, what yeah. did you learn in your new uh, role? You know, yeah. yeah. So I think it's just about learning about yourself and what works for you. So I still identify as an introverted person, but I'm not shy. I'm happy to do this. Uh, um, I love presenting, running workshops um, and, and, you know, interacting in all sorts of forums. But I am still introverted. So what that means for me is that I do need to allocate some time to be by myself. And, you know, that that's how I um, get my energies back up. So saying that, like I learned a lot about myself, a lot about my mind, about what works for me, about how I tick. And then I also, you know how people just fall into the mistake of thinking that everyone else thinks like you think? Well, I've learned that that wasn't the case. And so I've learned that there are many different types of people out there and everyone thinks a little bit differently and that changes how they interact with the world and how you communicate with them. So it's about learning about those differences recognizing those differences, valuing those differences, and then adapting how you interact with those people to actually achieve really great outcomes. And I think the diversity in you know, the people that we work with is really what makes um, organizations or businesses tick. So, I mean, if, if we had 10 people exactly like me, we might not get along. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Because at the end of the day, for us to have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable, there has to be, um, you know, client relationships, right? And this mm. is part of the stuff that you uh, take people through, um, especially when they are going through, you know, their grand plan or, you know, that strategic action. Just mm. walk us through your processes and how you actually do help your clients when they knock on your door. Yeah. So when people come to me, um, they might present with a few different things. They might say, oh, Carmen, I want to make more money or I, I want to actually have a life with my business or, uh, you know, I've got this problem with this situation and, and they come to me that they're often, you know, they, they might be, you know, really heavy, you know, a bit confused and not really clear. So the first thing that I do is I get people really clear on what their goals are. And I'll tell you what, their goals, although they come to me about money, it's never about money. There's always something else going on. So I get the most hardcore business people coming in and saying, I want to earn X amount of money. And within half an hour, they're like, you know what? I want to be there for my daughter. My dad was never there for me. Or, um, or I want to help as many people as possible. I want to leave a legacy. So, you know, that, that applies equally to men and women. So we tap into really, really what's driving them because what that means, like business is hard, like you're going to have to do hard things. So what that means is that when you are faced with doing hard things, you can actually tap into the real reason you're doing it. So I get people really clear on what they're doing and why they're doing it. And then we get down to the nitty gritties of, okay, well, um, this is the top of the staircase. This is where you want to get to. You don't need to know how to get to the top of this, the top of the staircase at the moment. But what we're going to do is we're going to work out how to get to the next step. And once you get to the next step, how do you get to the next step after that? So over time, people can make amazing changes, uh, take amazing actions and learn about themselves, which makes it more sustainable so that they can create actions in the future. Understandable. I like the word sustainable and also having an anchor of knowing exactly where you're going because um, when you're driving, you have to input the address of where you're going and then the GPS reverse engineers to where you are, right? So yes. it knows where you're going to go. Whether yes. you turn right or you turn left, it's still going to recalibrate. And then you also mentioned something really, really significant there about clarity. Because as you would know, if you don't know or see where you're headed mm. to, when you're mm. boldly going uh, nowhere. So hence the reason why the windshield is way bigger than the reverse um, you know, the reverse uh, mirror because you need to see where you're going much more. Now, what sort of outcomes have you noticed or what sort of feedback have you gotten people mm. 
uh, saying after they've dealt with you um, that mm. you know you've helped them either see that clarity or see the vision and you know yeah. what changes do they actually then make within themselves? Yeah. So I have the absolute pleasure of when I have coaching sessions, um, I have people having aha moments in front of me. They're like, "Oh, I never realised that," and you know, I, you know, I'm. I've lived my whole life like that, Carmen, you know, or whether it's how they interact with people or, you know, maybe they're a people's pleaser and, and they're just having these huge aha moments in front of my eyes, which is, which is so rewarding for me. Then what happens is that they might be like really confused. Like in your business, there are like a thousand things you could be doing at the moment and it's so confusing. And, and then, and then you like, you just end up doing nothing or you end up, you know, fiddling with Facebook and you should actually be doing this over here. And, um, the people walk out of my sessions with a really clear action plan. So, you know, over the next fortnight, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be calling Bob on Tuesday and asking him about this. And it's really, really clear. And then when people come back to me, I've got a way where we can check in, see how the actions went, but also tease out the learning. So it's about the learning. So did you call Bob on Tuesday? Did you not? What did you learn about yourself? What implications does that have for you going forward and your business? So we've got some really powerful ways. So some of my clients, one client came to me and said, you know, I want to earn X amount of money. And we worked out that it wasn't really about the money, but yes, still he needed to make X amount of money and so within three months so that was a 12-year goal within three months he'd achieved it um, I've got another client who's an employee within an organization and she's like you know I'm actually doing okay in my um, business at the moment and you know, I'm, I'm an okay employee but I want to be a rising star so now we're working together and she's gaining confidence and working out what things that she needs to do to be a rising star because she's not satisfied with okay. So um, it can be money within your business. It can be you as an employee and how you perform. And then people say to me that, you know, people come to me for their business or their work, but then there's other spin-offs as well. So, you know, I had a client the other day said, I actually got to spend that evening with my husband. We actually had the date night that we say we're going to have, but we never have. And you know what? It was amazing. And she shared with me some information and, and you know, how they've reconnected. So it's work, it's business and, you know, life comes into it as well. Understandable. Those are some really, really good results and congratulations, uh, you know, on making those, um, you know, really big turnarounds because a lot of people are going through um, life and they don't quite know um because if they knew what they don't know right now they would be doing it right and yes. um, most of it is really really based on fear fear first of all of the unknown and fear mm. of they might have you know a grand plan or they might have some sort of plan but they're just too scared to start or mm. to sort of get um mm. some traction how do you then um maybe knock some sense into their head or how do you, how do you yeah. walk them past that um you know yeah. four letter dreaded um word of fear yeah so i think we need to acknowledge fear in it everyone has fear everyone has that little voice in their head that says maybe you're not good enough maybe you can't can't do this maybe you've got nothing to add and it's about really working with that and so i support my clients to um, enhance their mindset to have a growth mindset to recognize that perfection actually isn't um you know something that we should achieve but to actually continue to build on that so we can recognize um fear um, we can look at it for what it is. We can go, oh, there's that voice again. Oh, there's that fear. Oh, there's that doubt. And you know what? We can call Bob on Tuesday anyway, even though we're really scared of doing that. So like, for example, I was petrified of doing cold calls and I didn't know if cold calls was something I really wanted to do with my business, but I was so petrified about it. I'm like, I just need to do them. So I did a hundred cold calls. Um, the outcome didn't matter. It was just the process of me going, you know, this is something I'm scared of and I'm going to face it head on. So it's about doing those brave things because I felt that I needed to explore that to actually really realize if that was something that was going to be powerful for my business or not. Understandable. Cause a lot of times, 
um, you know, yes, it is, it is exactly about fear and it's then the person you become that mm. determines, um, you know, the outcome of either your business, the relationships you have with the people around you and, you know, the grand plan of it coming in all together. But all of this is nothing without action. All right. Mm. How do you yeah. then, you know, walk your clients through really taking, um, you know, considerable action, you know, like you mentioned earlier on that you show them the top of the stairs, mm. but then they've got to yeah. do the climbing. What sort of, yeah. Um, you know, motivation or what sort of procedure do you walk your yeah. clients through? So yeah. When I coach my clients, I, I say, Hey, I've got a little secret for you. Actually, it's all within you already. And they're like, nah, it's not. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, it is. And they'll say to me, come on, what do you think I should do in this situation? And I'll say, you know what? If at the end of the session, you still really want to know my opinion, I'll tell you. Anyway. Nine out of ten times we get to the end of the session, they're like, all right, cool. Um, so I need to call Bob on Tuesday, I need to do this, and I need to do that. Sweet. They like close their book and they're off. They, they don't turn to me and go, come on, I'm really still hanging to know what you thought because they, they've actually come up with the answers and the actions themselves. So the, the thing is, so I've got experience in my life, um, my ex work experience, my business experience, my um, upbringing, how my mind works, but that's very different to everyone else. So the solution that you come up with might be different to the solution I come up with. So I actually support people to come up with something that's going to work for them. I know when I started in business, I was so overwhelmed. Facebook worked out that I started a new business and I was giving me ads for, you need to do this click funnel. It's the only way that your business is going to work. Otherwise, it's going to die. Or, or you, you need to have, you know, a whiz-bang website with bells and whistles or, or you need to learn how to run workshops. You know, there was all these answers out there. And what I quickly realized was, you know, these things might work for all these people, but I need to work out what works for me. So I support people to work out what works for them as well. So an example that people might relate to is a family example. So I was coaching someone and she's like, you know what, Carmen, when I get home in the evenings, I've got a couple of hours with my young kids and I really want to enjoy the time with them. And so if I used my hat and my upbringing, I would have said to her, oh, you know, you should sit down, you should have dinner together. You know, that's a pretty standard thing a lot of people might say. But, you know, because I was coaching her, I'm like, actually, no, she's got the answers herself. Let's work through this. So over the session, what she worked out, it was very specific to her and her situation. So she decided when she got home, she was going to allocate simple tasks for the food preparation to her kids. And so as a family, they were going to do the food preparation together. Wow. She was then going to feed her kids, read them a book, put them to sleep and then eat dinner with her husband. So this solution was very different to, you know, what I resorted to, but it was a solution that worked for her and her family. Absolutely. It's the same business. Absolutely. Absolutely. What you just uh, told me is, uh, or what you just told us is really remarkable because people are out there searching for cookie cutter sort of answer to everything else. And if you really look at my hands right now, no fingers are the same height. So you can't mm -hmm. expect, you know, what works for Carmen to work for Prosper or what works for you that's watching right there, mm -hmm. um, you know, to actually resonate with, you know, the same situation, circumstances and the people that are around them. Now, Carmen, mm -hmm. maybe somebody has actually come to the point and they've figured out, you know what, my situation is probably different. Let me um, have a chance to speak to Carmen so she can awaken the action mm -hmm. inside of me. How can yeah. people get a hold of you there, Carmen? Yeah, so I'd love for people to connect with me on LinkedIn. So I'm Carmen Williams. Also, you can find me at my website, which is strategicaction.consulting. Great stuff. I will be putting in all the links at the bottom there, um, you know, just so that people can also get in touch with you, also in line with the launch for the new brand. Now, you know, yes. you have been phenomenon on this show today you have really opened up our minds to what clarity really is and what it means to go in and leap even if there's um, a bit of fear going out there and how to take action you know depending on what it is that really comes natural 
to you, you know, and um, a lot of people have a deep desire to do great stuff. A lot of people are really determined to pull out um, you know, their grand plan, but obviously, the, you know, fear and what the media says and, you know, talk about yeah drum here and there do you know what i mean um yes i do know and you know that there's a grand plan that is you know waiting for each and every mm -hmm. one of us do you have any last sort of words to impart onto our viewers today just to let them know that um you know you know grand plan coaching or you as strategic alliance mm -hmm. there to support them every turn of their way to make their plan into a reality yeah. So look, I just urge people that, you know, life is too short. Um, and so when you interview people that are older, that they never say, Oh, I wish I didn't follow my passion. I wish I didn't take that opportunity. So it's, it's scary, but you know, th that's part of the journey. Absolutely. Well, Carmen, thank you so much for your time on the show today and uh, good luck. With thank you. Thank you. Thank you.